This is gonna be a white chicken chili. Um, actually, shout out to Allie, my friend, who posted a picture of this on her Snapchat story about a week ago or two weeks ago. And I was like, that looks delicious. What is that? She said, white chicken chili. I was like, all right, sounds like I gotta make my own white chicken chili recipe. So, we are gonna make this in the crock pot. You could also make it on the stove top. I think the crock pot's gonna be easier. But I'll go over the, all the ingredients first, and then we'll go over basically how to make it, that kind of thing. So, first, we need one and a half pounds of chicken breast. This actually comes out to be 1.87 pounds just because what the pack has. So I will be using a little bit more chicken than that, but I think one and a half pounds should be about the minimum to get the protein that you want. We'll also need one tablespoon of garlic or about three to four cloves chopped up, but I think minced garlic is always easier. We need 24 ounces of chicken broth, which we have right here. We need two cans. These are 15.5 ounces of these northern beans right there. These are just the Kroger, great northern beans. Um, you can really use any bean you want, but I think the white beans go well with the white chicken chili. We also need one can of corn. You can also have one onion chopped up, but like I've told in past videos, I'm not the biggest fan of onions. My dad doesn't eat any onions, so we're going to keep the onions out. But you could add half to one full onion chopped up. We also need two cans of these chopped green chilies right there. Hopefully those zoom in. Boom, so those are in there as well. The really nice thing is you buy a can, you use the whole thing. So we're gonna be using um, all the cans. Then we go ahead and get into our seasonings. We're gonna use half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Then we have oregano, uh, chili powder, and cumin. We're gonna use half a teaspoon of all of those. Then we're also gonna use half a teaspoon of the ground cayenne red pepper, if you guys can see that right there, hopefully. So I like to keep things simple, um, half a teaspoon of everything. Um, it's super simple. Besides the salt, we will be using one full teaspoon of salt. And then we also need some cream cheese. This is one third less fat cream cheese, as well as some half and half. So we're gonna be using four ounces or half a pack of our cream cheese. It's reduced fat, as I said, and also a quarter cup of our half and half. But these two, we're gonna add once the chicken's done cooking. So we're gonna put the chicken in there with our seasonings, our corn, beans, um, chopped chilies, and chicken broth, we're gonna let that cook. Then we'll add our half and half and our cream cheese to make it that nice creamy texture. But it's also super simple, that's why I love this recipe so much. All we need to do is put our chicken down, put all the seasonings on top, then empty out all of our cans of beans, chopped chilies, and corn, and then our chicken broth, and then we just put it on low and cook it for about four to six hours. Now we've got all of our ingredients in the crock pot itself. I give it a quick mix just to make sure everything's kind of well combined in that chicken broth. But now we go ahead and set that on low. You could do it on high probably for maybe like, I would say maybe like three hours or so. But we're gonna do this low and slow for about six hours. Then we'll go ahead and take the chicken out and shred it. But um, yeah, basically for the next six hours, do whatever you want, clean your kitchen, go to the gym, um, get some work done, all that good stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, take your dog for a walk if you have a dog. Uh, spend time with family, whatever it is, but six hours, go ahead and let that cook. But yeah, I pretty much put all the ingredients in there, let it cook, and um, can't be much easier than that. It is now a few hours later, I guess a little bit more than a few, uh, but yeah, we went to the gym, we did some computer work, we're editing a video, all that kind of good stuff right now. I took Maisie for a walk, and now it is time to shred our chicken. So I just pulled this chicken out of the crock pot right here. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that on low. Once again, we're gonna add our cream cheese in half and half once we shred our chicken. First thing we need to do, shred this chicken up. All right, now we have all of our shredded chicken here back in this bowl. We're gonna do, I'm just gonna take this off for a second. We're gonna add all of our shredded chicken back in the crock pot like this. Boom. And now we'll be adding our half and half. So we're gonna use a quarter cup right here of our half and half, add that in there. And then we also need four ounces of our cream cheese. This is reduced fat just from Kroger. Boom, this whole thing is eight ounces, so we're just gonna literally cut in half and put it in there as well. Oh, and this has also been sitting at room temperature for about 20 minutes, um, just so it's not as firm, because when we put it in there, we do want to melt and kind of become part of the whole like chili. Oh, look at that. It even has like an easy measuring thing, so you know like, oh, four ounces, which is half, so that's kind of cool.
Now we've got our cream cheese and our half and half in there. What we're gonna go ahead and do is let that sit for about another 15 minutes and mix it occasionally, maybe every three to four, just so that cream cheese and the half and half can mix through the rest of this kind of soup or chili, whatever you wanna call it. So we'll go ahead and let that sit for another 15 minutes and we'll actually throw it to high just to help it kind of heat up a little bit more and actually melt that cream cheese to make it that creamy texture that we want. So go ahead, flip it to high. I'll check that every about two to three minutes for the next 15 minutes and then we'll pretty much be done. It's that easy. And boom, just like that, we are here with our final product. Um, I'll say the great thing about the crock pot is, although it takes a long time, the prep or actual cook time, I mean, literally is maybe five minutes in total. It takes like two minutes to put all the ingredients in the pot, three minutes to shred the chicken, and then put it back in the pot, and then 15 minutes later, it's ready to serve. So if you do have the foresight to make these meals ahead of time, highly recommend. I'll be real quick, I'll read off the macros for this meal. So for the entire meal, um, our entire crock pot worth of stuff over there, it comes out to be 2,149 calories, 183 grams of carbs, 45 grams of fat, and then 285 grams of protein. And then if we go ahead and we'll divide this up into five servings. So once again, I'm eyeballing this. I'm not actually measuring out like to the absolute gram um, five servings. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, this is about a fifth. That'll be about a fifth, so on and so forth. As long as it's all get eaten, um, the macros will eventually even out by the end of the week. Um, and that's kind of important there. So real quick for one, Maisie's being so loud. And she just ate dinner, so she shouldn't be very hungry right now. But for one fifth serving of the chicken chili, we have 430 calories, 37 grams of carbs, nine grams of fat, and 57 grams of protein. So yes, that's a lot of protein. That is for a pound and a half of chicken. If you went with one pound, you could bring down the calories and the protein a little bit. Um, I actually went with, I think, one point like eight, seven in mine, but I decided to round down for the overall macros just to 1.5 pounds of chicken. But yeah, let's give this a quick taste test. Still a little warm. Yeah, I don't wanna burn myself again. But tastes really good. Super high protein with the chicken. Creamy with a little bit of cream cheese and half and half added in. We've got the corn, the sweet chilies, the beans. I'm a big fan. Obviously, I might add some saltines or something on the side, bring the calories up because I'm currently on my bulk, so I do need a little more carbs. But, but for 57 grams of protein, this is a great meal for under 500 calories. But without further ado, I'm gonna dig into this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Amazing. So we'll see you next time. Peace.